everyone and welcome back to a very long overdue episode of, of what else? Jurassic World Alive. Um, I, I apologize. I've been ill. I had the flu. I went to a convention and uh, yeah. Oh. So here we are in Jurassic World Alive. Uh, what do we have to show you today? Well, you've already seen the thumbnail and the title, I'm sure. Um, and I'm I'm still a little bit sick. In fact, I was like having a runny nose last night, you know, when it just doesn't stop. I thought, oh, for God's sake, no, please. I was getting better. <laughs> but we're good, I think, just. So, yes, he here we go. We're having a little bit of a change to the team. And I also want to rant about, I mean, we've got to rant about Ludio, right? It's what we do in these videos. Um, but and while we do, let's unlock the new creature, at least give a pop to the Draco Rex. So, basically, um... There's a lot of new stuff. In fact, I don't even know where to start. So let's just start with the team. So my team at the moment, uh, I haven't boosted this guy at all. However, I phased it boosted and my god, I, it's more and more common um, to come across a horror uh, for rex. For rex. Um, and it's really good. The fact that, you know, we've got the swap in swap meta. Um, and if you're faster and you know they're going to swap out and you can kill them in one hit with this thing, you can swap it in. And then when they try to swap out, they get hit. And if they don't swap out, they also get hit. So Draco Rex, a uh, bird, the Draco Burb is, uh, is definitely something you need to have on your team, basically. Now, the new thing, uh, that I should have, well, you'll see in a minute when we get all the way down to the bottom, because my god, there is so many. Well, we've almost got the bird. We're five off getting the bird. Now, apparently the bird's good. Uh, I don't know. Haven't really tried it. But this guy, the Indotaurus, is very very good. In fact, trying to counter it, I was like, I, I don't even know what to do. Because <laughs> uh, it has a cleanse, I think. It, it counters if you hit it. it. Oh, it's just ridiculous. So, we are gonna get it. Oh god, yes, there she is. And it is definitely not anything like we expected. Promised, um, oh, there it is. Isla Nubla Alpha. Oh, I think that's get maybe another so many uniques. Anyway, we were promised on the concept art of it standing up a bit like an Indominus, but for whatever reason, uh, Ludia decided to plop it on its four limbs. Don't know why, but here we are. Also, I'm recording on a new capture card. Um, this is, uh, it's for streaming, so it's more one-to-one. -one. Um, is it, if you've joined my streams in the past, there might be one second or two second delay. This time, there's no delay. In fact, I didn't realize there was another one. There's a HD 60S Plus, and I've only got the, the S, so don't know what the difference there is, but it's newer. Anyway, so this guy, let's have a look. The Indotaurus has got 20% chance to crit. Pretty, pretty decent. Better than 5%. Um, it has Fear Strike, which you're probably never going to use. Intimidating Impact, which is like a medium hit, but also, I think, uh, induces vulnerability. The Cleansing Rampage, that's the one. And of course, a Revenge taunting cloak. So if you do get a revenge off, or you come in after something's killed, you get a 2.5 extra damage. Um, you also have pesky alert. Interesting. Uh, th is this when you swap in? Or when they swap out? It should say. Um, last one, turn two. It doesn't say, does it? Um... Ah, oh, I don't know what that is. So basically, lasting one turn, 2.5. So if you've got less than half health, it's better um, if they swap out or if they just generally... I think I think it's if they swap out. Really need to make it more clear with the red arrows. Yeah, anyway, um, if you swap out, it should be green. If they swap out, it's red. I don't know. Something like that might be quite, uh, quite good. Also need a little bit of a shave. We're getting very furry. <laughs> uh, but the biggest thing here is a greater rendering counter. So if you hit it, it's going to hit you back. And basically, if you get it off, like, if it does a revenge cloak, um, and then it gets a great rendering counter. Oh, my God. That's, like, 90% of your damage. It's, it's, it's probably more. 33% of max health plus a 2.5 times cloak. You're dead. <laughs> Basically. This, is a this has the cloak. And then you can get a counter off. The main thing with the cloak was, you know, it has to do a cloak. And then it has to do a hit. Nah, 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 nah. Not with this. This thing is cloak. And then you, you, if you hit it, you're dead. Um, it also can... It's quite resistant to pretty much everything. Uh, the only thing it's not resistant to is, you know, attack being nerfed. But when we think about attack being nerfed, it has a cleansing rampage. Anyway. So, bleh. 
Um, it, it's it's pretty crazy. Uh, where to find it? Well, you course you can't. The fierce Indotaurus is a fusion of Carnotaurus and Dominus Rex, two predators who have hunted near the top of Isla Nublar's food chain. Could there be a new Isla Nublar Alpha in our midst? Uh, yes, definitely. If for some reason you've managed to get this guy maxed up, I don't know how. We just recently had a Scorpius Rex Gen 3. Jesus. And um, this is where I want to... I want to talk about... Well, my situation when it comes to playing this game. So, if you know, I cover this game. Of course I do. But, when it comes to these games, and of course we've got to level up as much as we can, um, I kind of want to use it, but I don't know what boost to put on it. I'll, I mean, you guys in the comments, you're always, you're lovely. You tell me what I need. I will also do a couple of fuses with it. Um, so, I'm in, a, I'm in a really annoying predicament because... On the one hand, I don't like to, um, to, I like to play fair. I, I don't want to spend money on app games because it's a slippery slope. As you may have witnessed already, I was on 500 into Taurus. When once you unlock it, you can't fuse it anymore. So how did I get 500 if I had 250? Well, that's right. I, ca I caved. I, okay, I caved. I bought the, I, I, I bought the 90 pound uh, incubator, please. Oh my God. I had to do it. There was no other way. I mean, I could unlock it, but I want to showcase it. And, um, you know, am I, people might say, say pee, pee 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 People might look at this and go, Oh, Beavers, stop your whinge, and at least you got it. It's, it's pay to win. What are you doing? If I was a normal guy, you know, and I wasn't covering this as a job, I, like I do normally, I just play this game for fun. But fun doesn't bring in the content. As you may realize, a lot of the stuff that I do in this game uh, is like uh, new creatures or getting to a new uh, arena or something being unlocked. You can't do that if I don't. If you don't play this game ten hours a day and or have a very deep pockets to buy the incubators or boosts even, uh, which is why it really annoys me when I, I, I it annoys me that Ludia are praising and they're still promoting this way of promoting the game. Uh, it's like, it's, well, pay to win or play it loads. Um, and I, the play it loads is great, but you're really not going to get you there as quickly as pay to win is, unfortunately. Um, so we've got, yeah, we've got three more pops. We're probably not going to get to 200, definitely not. Um, and when I see other YouTubers, um, now I have nothing against them, really. It's Ludia's fault for allowing this to happen, where they hack the game, for instance, like Jurassic World the game, and they face no consequences. Um, and even some YouTubers originally hacked this game. Uh, their first ever, like, Let's Plays and stuff was them GPS spoofing. And, you know, maybe they couldn't give themselves DNA, but they could just go around and, you know, just sit at, sit at home and be like, Wee! And just dart everything. And yet, they never got suspended, never got any sort of uh, punishment, and they're still promoting this game. And why wouldn't they? Because they're, they, they're buying all of the incubators, they're buying all of the boost packs, the books, the, everything like that. And it's, as you can see, I've got 11,000 books. That's not a normal amount of books to have. It's just, it's, it's annoying because uh, you can't play in a level playing field with Jurassic World Alive, unfortunately, especially if you want to cover the content. Only, the only thing that is normal and everyone's on a level playing field is really the alphas or these uh, apexes, sorry. There's nothing you can do. You can't hack the game to get more alpha DNA, or maybe you can, but you'll get banned because Ludio are very you know, on it with this one. But that's it. Everything else, I don't know where they keep on getting all the DNA from and stuff. I don't know, I'm watching you. <laughs> but I'm excited to finally get this guy unlocked. Where is he? Yes, into Taurus. Now, I have been thinking about what to take off my team. And Mortem Rex has its moments. Uh, Testa Corbinus, the deer, is quite decent. Uh, Eutoronix? You know, come in clutch sometimes. It's it's probably not up there with the top dinosaurs, but I like it. Out of all my team, it's the fastest I've got, as and apart from Model Rhino. Model Rhino is great. Model Rhino is great against a Testa Corbinus. It's really good against most other things, even a Scorpius Rex. It's fast. I can usually go for a shield and then a big hit and do a decent damage or even swap in. Uh, Scorpius Rex has its moments. Uh, Hadrosaur Lux is... Yeah. It's okay. 
okay. It's not the best, I will admit. Um, but again, with that greater heal, you know, sometimes it can come in clutch. Um, Sinoceratops is the only one, or Ceramagnus, I should say, is the only one that I really feel doesn't do much now. If I want to swap in, Monlorino. Most of the time, you know, Precise, like Gripe Pursuits can counter this. Tester Corbinus can counter this. There's really nothing. Once it swaps in and go for uh, Precise Rampage or Group Acceleration, and by that time, it's probably dead. So I am thinking about benching Sarah Magnus. And this guy, I also want to boost, but I don't know what to boost. So what I'm going to do, I need a counter. I need either a Gripe Pursuits or I need the Indutorus. So I am going to bench Sarah Magnus, even though I've boosted it and everything like that, I really feel that Indotaurus, it could be up there. It definitely could be up there. It's either that or Hadrosaur looks, if I gotta be honest. I got my swap in and I'm good with that. But let me know, what what do you think of the current state? I know that, the thing is, right, you've got, you've had people in game press and stuff who have quit this game. If you don't know game press, there are a, a group of people that have promoted this game for a very long time, or any Ludia app games, even Jurassic World, the game when it first came out. Um, and there, there's some of the hardest core players that have ever been in this fan base, and they're dropping out now. Um, or at least two, two big ones did, and they, they left like a twit longer uh, <laughs> when they left. Um, uh, but they have all the creatures maxed up. I guess it gets boring when you get to that state, but how, how long are you playing it that you can actually do that? You know what I mean? Uh, anyway, let me know in the comments down below what you think. And we have an, a really interesting, the first ever week um, when it comes to Jurassic World Live, uh, you know, darting fest things. So let's quickly jump to the newsroom. <laughs> So, it has been an interesting one. In fact, on Monday, when we saw the res come out, I was like, what? But I'll take it. Expecting it was going to be a couple of days. However, it's not. So, Monday, which is passed, was the Octops, Dimetrodon, and Diplocarus Gen 2. Diplocarus Gen 2, if I can even speak normally. Um, however, the Octops is probably the one that everyone was wanting, and uh, I darted as much as I could. Uh, Tuesday, Postasuka's Dilophosaurus. <laughs> Let down Tuesday, eh? Uh, but today, this video, the day this video is coming out, is a good one. It's it's epics. It's it's bonkers. This this week, I don't know why, but it's it's crazy. I love it. Keep doing this. Um, we have four attempts for Compsognathus, Diplodocus, or Kentrosaurus. Out of those, Compsognathus gotta be Compy. I really think I haven't really seen it, but a meta of level thirty Compies boosted. I think that thing's dangerous. Um, anyway, on Thursday, Velociraptor, Scolosu Scolosaurus, and Triceratops Gen 2. I think Scolosaurus has a good hybrid. I can't remember what it's called right now off the top of my head. But yes, um, I would definitely say for Scolosaurus. On Friday, we have another epic with uh, Sinsatosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and Alanqua. I guess unless you go for the Mammoth hybrid, you'd go for Sinsato. But under those, I don't know, I'd probably say T-Rex is a safe bet or Sinsato. I'd, yeah, one of those two. Saturday... Weirdly enough, is a uh, commons with Archetherium. Oh god, my computer just went to sleep there. Brilliant. Uh, give me a second one at a load. There we go. Uh, Glyptodon and Amphisoon. Amphicoon. Um, I mean, it's up to you. <laughs> one of those has pro they probably got some good hybrids. Anyway, I'm not too fussed about that. But Sunday, Woolly Mammoth, Hast Eagle, and the Smilodon for attempts. So this whole week, you have you could dot 12 epics. I would go for a Compi, maybe a Sinsato. And uh, maybe a woolly mammoth or a hast eagle. I don't know which one I've seen a lot of smilodons. I get, I see, yeah, bleh, basically I get a lot of smilodons uh, normally, so I'm not gonna really bother with that. And of course you've got two, uh, three epic incubators. One was on Tuesday, one on Friday, and one on Sunday, as well as on the Sunday, getting the gold chests, you know, in case you want. Ooh, hold on, there's a, uh, there's a Draco Rex for me to dart. So yeah, not looking too shabby at all. Back to the game, shall we? Wee! And this is what I am doing now. We edit videos while darting a Draco Rex. And also, you know, the, the music cuts out and uh, it, it's just beautiful. It's a silence. It's, it's gorgeous. I'm looking forward to maxing up the uh, the Draco birdie burb. Uh, the only problem is we're, we're seeing a lot of uniques that, you know, were good at one point um, and now very rarely see any play. 
Um, you know, like Thordor. I, do, I, does anybody use Thordor anymore? Nah. Um, does anybody use Magnetator anymore? Nah. Trichosaurus is, you know, it's not even in my team anymore. So when it comes to, if we switch to things with health boosts, you know, Trichosaurus there, I, you know, I've maxed that up in health. I, do, we, do I use it? No. So, wasted boosts and health. Uh, Sarah Magnus now that I'm swapping out, wasted boosts and health. And uh, Magnetator, wasted boosts on health. Um, and even, you know, the, the Compi hybrid, I think, which is probably 163. You know, I've got all these boosts on basically dead uniques. But I can't really take them off because... You know, it's just going to be wasted. I'm losing half of them. So at the moment, Ludia is not refunding anyone for boosts. We're just going to have to, if you want to take them off, you're going to have to take the hit of losing half of it. And now we're seeing a rotation of uniques. So, you know, in a year's time, I bet that not even two of these are used anymore. Probably two. Well, let's say two are used anymore, and the rest are completely new. Which means that all the boosts that I put on these dinosaurs will just be dead. Um, and this is where we see Ludia's new, you know, marketing scheme, which is basically we'll put in new creatures that counter the current meta. Um, and you also can't use the old ones, basically, because we'll make a new thing. Like, you know, swapping in stuff. So who knows what it'll be next? Maybe it's like a charge up over time when a creature's left in, and the longer, the more turns, the more dangerous it gets, the more health it accumulates, or attack it accumulates as it's, you know, standing its ground. I don't know, we're gonna see stuff like that, which will make the swapping in meta stupid, because then you're swapping out and you're losing it. So now it's like, okay, well you need to stick in, but then also have enough, you know, ah, it's gotta be all this jazz, basically. Um, but now, how about, yes, I am, I was on Nublar Shores about two days ago. However, I am not anymore, dear. And that's because I faced against the three, per the same person like three times and I kept on losing to them. And I was like, this sucks. <laughs> Didn't matter what team. Uh, just like, just could not do anything against them. But anyway, I actually prefer being down in this rank. Because it felt like every battle I did on New Nublar Shores was stressful. It was either I got completely trounced or I won it by the skin of my teeth. And, I mean, yeah, if I'm doing PvP, but if I just won the Incubators, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> but anyway, let's jump in. We'll quickly uh, open this Incubator and see if we can, you know, use Intertaurus at all. You know, see exactly how it works. Right, let's go. Do -do 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 I love Pokemon Stadium music, man. I love putting that stuff in. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's into Taurus! Right, we want to put it in a swap in, right? We don't want to have it out all right. So, I'm, you know what? Testicorbinus is probably not the best start, but it's a start. Um, and something like Gripalith is the perfect counter. I love it. I love that. That That is the best. I might have a chance of swapping out, though. Um, what can I... What can I do here? Um... I mean, I can try and switch and then just go for a big hit from Morty. Morton would have been good. Ah, I resisted it. Yes. Okay, he's going to go for his, like, you know, shield and frost. Okay, never mind. He doesn't. Don't know why he didn't do that. But here we go. <laughs> if I put Morton first. Oh, it could have been so much better. Oh, he's got a Sarah Magnus at level 29. With 2002. Oh, it's, it's like max attacked now. Oh, yeah. And also, that re you know, that reminds me. Oh, Sarah Magnus is dead. Sarah Magnus is dead, dude. Should we just go for this and then, uh, and then, yeah, this is better. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen, right? Sarah Magnus is gonna die, and then, uh, Gr Gripolith or whatever it's called is just gonna come in and completely kill me. <laughs> ah, Sonic, who cares? Um,. Oh, you know, maybe if I can get some devastation in and get a... Okay, I need to time this right. So, I want... Yeah, so I'll do a shield. I'll do a regular hit. And then I should have devastation ready and be quicker. So I should be able to get off a big hit at least. Okay, there we go. So he can switch out now if he wants to, which I'll be completely fine with. Go on, you can get rid of your Sarah if you want to save it. I don't know why you would. Maybe it's your only swapper. No. Oh, no. That's what I needed. <laughs> I needed that because now he's just going to go for his uh, thingy. Oh, what do you think? Do you think it's worth it when he's, he's going to put his Gripolith in, right? He's going to do it. So do I swap to Mortem? Hopefully get the 33% chance to swap. And he goes for the Ferocious. Ooh, what's his attack? 
Oh, let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Please resist. Please resist. You, bugger you. Oh, he didn't go for it anyway. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> He, would, he, would, he didn't get a crit, and if my Mortimer Hanukkah came in, oh, that would have been brilliant. Um, so I'll go for this. Now watch you. Oh, am I, I didn't realize I was quicker. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's probably going to kill me here, I think. Oh, no. Does it not go through? Oh, there it is. Does it not go through armor? I thought it would go through armor. Okay, so pretty much I'm, I'm, I'm not surviving this. He's going to do 2,700. Uh, does it go through armor? Yeah, as, yeah, bypasses his armor piercing damage. Okay, so you know what? It's not too bad. A really good counter for Gripolith is actually Utaranix. Um, I could go for a swap here, but there's no point. I may as well. He's going to heal. Uh, oh, or not. Or not. He's wasted, I think, his attack boost. Interesting, interesting. So what do you think? Do you think he's got a Monolorino as well? I'm actually more tempted to just swap. I could swap in... Mortem Rex, right? I could swap in Mortem Rex, but I'm not going to. Because I think he might have a Monolor Rhino. There's a, there's a chance. He'll go for his heal. I'll do the damage to him. And, you know, next time he's dead. And then I'll swap into Mortem. So the best thing you could do with this guy is go for Distracting Impact and then regular hit. The thing is with Utaranix is it can actually reduce his... Oh, oh he did have one! I freaking predicted it, man. I knew it. I knew he would have it. I just, there was something about it. I was like, I bet he has two freaking swap-ins. I bet. And you know what? He bloody well did. Oh, there you go. We'll do one damage here. Um, we'll do another damage again. Yeah, okay. That's fine. And then we'll just go for the distracting thing with the other one. I mean, just what? How much damage? What's that? 2,300. 2,300. Okay, so we'll do this. Big chunk of damage. Oh, he went for that. Ah, I didn't think he would. But I think I'm I'm now I'm now in a bad situation. I could be wrong though. You know what? We're just gonna do it. This is this is the work Utaranix puts in. It's not a shower, it's a grower. <laughs> yes! Yes, my boy! Now, we'll swap out. Now, what does he have that could counter? I don't know, man. He'll probably swap out. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Fair, fair dues. Right. Okay. So, he. I think he can swap in. I think he can swap in Monolo Rhino to kill me. I think he can. His Monolo Rhino's almost dead. So, a Gorgotrebex. Interesting. Interesting. Now, Gorgotrebex... Has a resistant to rend. Oh, well, that's it. That's game, set, match here, I think, really. Um, cautious impact. I think he has something that goes... Oh, that's what goes through. So he's got cooldown of one for this. So he kills me here. Uh, he has a speed boost, which takes him to 160. And unfortunately, if that was Sarah Magnus, maybe I could have done this. Maybe. Um, but there really isn't much I can do. If I go for revenge... And then he goes for Cautious Impact. I think I'm dead. I think no matter what I do here, I've died. So, you know what? I may as well go. Oh, okay. Group Distracting. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, this is turning out very interesting. Um, maybe I will win this. I d Oh, no! <laughs> oh, the crit as well. <laughs> the game in the end just went... <laughs> I mean, I played it the best I could. That was a perfect counter, unfortunately. Oh, my God. But that was fun. We'll do one more. We'll do one more. Yeah, I don't think I could have played that any other way. That, that was the best that I could do. <laughs> I honestly think. Uh, okay. So, what we got? We got the Hadrosaur Lux. We got the Tester Corbinus. I don't know what people are starting with. I really should take notes to see what people start with. The Gripo last time. Um, should we just go for Tester Corbinus again? Ah, so let's just go for Tester Corbinus. The super health tank um, that I still haven't max boosted. Oh my god, it's the perfect counter again. Oh, it should have been Hadro. It should have been Hadro Soul Lux. Oh, that's annoying. Um, oh god. I mean, he's not going to kill me in one hit, but if he gets a crit, he might be able to. And the chance is there. Um, oh, whoa, jeez. That was... 
that was close. <laughs> I'm not dead, though. Um, do you think he's going to switch out just to finish me? Uh, I don't think he will. And I, I, you know what? Yeah, sort of. Just, we'll, just, we'll fodder off Testa Corbin. It's, it's a shame to have it waste that way. However, Model Rhino is faster and it can kill it in one hit. So we may as well do it. Uh, I don't have anything. I, uh, I do have the, the burb. I do have the burb. Should we? You know, I've never had the, the, the bird actually do its lethal rampage and swap. But this actually might be the first ever time I can. Again, zero boosts to it just to see what it's like. Let's see a swap in. What do we think? Monla Rhino? Thinking Monla Rhino could be good. Oh, he's following off. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, I get the crit there. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> so now we need something to nullify me. Uh, because he'll know I'm just going to try and get to that swap out. Let's see what he does. This is an interesting team. I don't like it. I don't have the confidence in it. Vutaronix. I feel confident Vutaronix is there. Now this one's boosted. And it's going to kill me in, like, one hit. That's int- Whoa! Wait, what? He just went for a regular hit. Oh, that's interesting. Why would he do that? I think I, I keep my dodge here. I think I keep my dodge. So, oh, no, I don't. Okay, fair enough. He, he played that perfectly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Ah. Well played! <laughs> we are gonna lose! Ah, <laughs> uh, we never know. We might pull it back, but I honestly don't think so. I'm my third dinosaur. He's gonna go for a lethal rampage and run. I'm gonna bleed out. And that is game! And... <clears throat> oh, no, not! I might survive this. Okay, let's see what comes in. If it does a hit, I might be dead, though. If it does a hit. Please don't do a hit. Please don't be Model Rhino. And it's Model Rhino! So there it was! Game, set, match very well played that was horrendous the perfect counters for the the just can we next battle please <laughs> the unfortunate thing is now the ludia aren't well that they've done a weird tactic what they've done is they they're being they're being clever about it they're putting in a book sale with all the boosts so you you're more inclined to spend real money on getting the books and then buying the boosts and, I mean, it's it's all a ploy just to get you to spend money. And it sucks because now it's like, well, if you want to you keep on climbing in the arena, you need to boost your creatures because now everything you face will be boosted pretty much. And it sucks. And unfortunately, it doesn't. It seems like this is the future for Jurassic World Alive. It's just going to be, you know, unless you spend money on the game, you're just going to go lower. That's it. If you want to try and get boosts legit, Sorry, it's, it's not going to be good enough because everyone else is going to have higher boosted creatures. Sorry, didums. And thank you. Okay, wasting my time. Good. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like at the moment, this game is in not a good situation. It's very pay to win. And they're not even hiding how pay to win it is. And it's just the way it is. I, I have spent, like I spent 100, basically 100 quid on the uh, Indotaurus, you know, incubator to get it to where it is. And it's still not even useful at all to me. That's a hundred quid. And I've, I've bought books, let's say 200 quid. And is my team any good? Nah, nah. And I'm, I'm barely just staying at whatever level I was at before. And it's just not good. And I don't know. I mean, I know what the incentive is. The incentive is money. That's basically it, but it sucks. <laughs> oh, a crit! Oh, that was that was lovely. Do you think he'll fodder that off? I think he might switch in something. Um, do you think he will? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just go for. We'll we'll switch out this. Uh, I I kind of need to keep more Rex in so I can. Uh, Oh, it's dead. Okay, sweet. Uh, he wasn't going to swap out. Thank God I didn't swap it into Taurus because it would have died. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, it's just, it's not a good situation. I, I don't feel like we're in a healthy situation with the game at the moment because it is just buy now. You need to buy, like, books are, uh, sorry, boosts are so important that you need to spend real money on them. And that is not a good precedent to set. It really isn't. Um... I'm kind of tempted to go for the attack, but if I go for this, I might outspeed him next turn. 
Uh, but I'll go for this. It's safer, and it actually worked. Okay, I was thinking he might try and big brain me, but I guess I'm quicker anyway, right? Yeah, I guess I'm quick. I didn't realize I was quicker. And he did go for Toxic Quills. Interesting, interesting. So I think I've just survived this? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I could cleanse and hope that he he doesn't go for an attack, but sod it. Yeah, I thought he would go for this. I could have cleansed, but I'm ha I'll happily take the loss on the bird. Um, it's not too great. I'm okay. Oh, we cleansed it anyway. Ah, that's interesting. I can swap out if I want to. <laughs> so we have we got Model Rhino. We have we have Tester Corbinus, which could be pretty sweet. He's just done that, so he's got a big cooldown on this guy. Um, or unless I swap out. Ooh, ooh, it's tricky. I could have swapped to Morden Rex and just had him waste his big attack on him. Oh, he just went for that anyway. Oh, okay. And it only did 2,000. Oh, that's right, because my attack's still wearing on him. Ah, okay, okay. So we'll go for this one, and then maybe we'll outspeed. I don't think you can lower his speed, but his speed boost will go. And if my unboosted bird is faster than him... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'd imagine that I would also outspeed him here. So what's his speed? 165, but it'll go now. Right, I think it only lasts... Or maybe it'll stay. No, wait, there it goes. <laughs> so now... I can't switch out, or else he's giving me health. And I think we're going to win this one. I've got a crit on a 5% chance. Bugger off. <laughs> don't give me a crit. That's really rare. But I don't need it. Don't do that to me, game. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. I'll take the trade. Oh, it's a crit as well. I almost killed him. <laughs> this is what happens, man. I lose two games, like the worst ways, like a perfect counters against me. And here we are. Um, should we risk the biscuit and go for Indator or Soda? I don't deserve this win. Uh, let, let, let's go for the cloak. Let's just go for the cloak. I want to see what happens when we do a counter if we survive this. Because he's going to do his biggest hit. So it's, it's like 50-50 here. And okay, what does it do? How much does it do? How much? 5,000. <laughs> Oh, that is devastating. Well, we won with the level 23 in the Taurus. You saw it here first. Uh, yeah, um, I, I know I don't have much really positive to say about the game at the moment, which is unfortunate because I don't want to be like that. I, it's, it's just the way it is right now. It's like, ah, well, give us money if you want to enjoy playing the game or else you're going to be trounced by people who are boosted. Um, and maybe it's not like that in the lower ranks, but up here near Jarosphere and Nublar Shores, yeah. I've seen some dinosaurs, that, like the new hybrids, the, uh, the legendary ones that are max level 30, max boost. There's only one thing that's, that's doing that. And unfortunately, the way the game is, especially with these tournaments, it's like people who have the ability to, you know, have these spare boosts because they have really good creatures get even more boosts. It's basically the rich get richer. And that's it. Like, that, yeah, you can try and work out ways, but eventually you're going to come across teams with level 30 compies when you've only got, like, a level 20. Or, you know, um, there's other, other like, skill tournaments that there's, like... I mean, skill tournaments really is the only way that you can win when there's no boosts and everything is the same level. But then you're probably facing up against the same teams. Ah, it's a hard situation, man. It, it, it does suck. But anyway, guys, that was actually quite fun. At least the bat last battle was, and I almost won the first one. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Don't forget, link in the description down below to collect your books. And until next time, I'll see you beautiful beaver babies later. Oh, bye-bye.